In this question, we're going to discuss the mechanism behind the fundamental particle interactions. So, as you hopefully know by now, there's four fundamental interactions. The electromagnetic, the strong interaction, weak interaction, and the gravitational interaction. And each of these interactions has a mediator, a particle that mediates the force, really what creates this interaction. So the way that it was first discovered was between charged particles. And that if you take a look at electromagnetic waves, they can be thought of as not just waves, but as a photon, an actual particle, quanta, of the electromagnetic force. And it was discovered that electromagnetic phenomena can be modeled as an exchange of photons between electrically charged particles. So, for instance, if we have like an electron, maybe a proton, a positive charge, this attraction between them is an exchange of photons. So the f that's why we call the photon the mediator for the electromagnetic interaction. It's the mechanism behind that interaction. Two electrons, for instance, would repel each other because one of them emits a photon. Let me do that again. One of them emits a photon, which is then absorbed by the other electron, and that electron recoils as it emits a photon of its own, forcing this electron to recoil in the opposite direction. And there's a similar mediator for each of these other interactions. For the strong interaction, we have gluons. For the weak, we have a W plus, a W minus, and a neutral Z particle. The gravitational interaction, there is a hypothesized graviton that would exist in the framework of quantum mechanics and the standard model of particle physics. However, it has yet to be discovered. But the photon, the gluon, and the graviton, these would all be massless particles. Massless. And in fact, the only one that has mass is the W and Z particles that interact the weak force. And it's because of their mass that this is actually the force that interacts over the shortest distance 